if there's one item from Korea causing a global sensation with its unforgettable flavors and charms, what would you say it is? It's Hanshik, Korean cuisine. As if providing its global popularity, many YouTubers are sharing their experiences of hay food with others around the globe. Let's kick off a delicious journey into Korean culture with special company. This is an award ceremony held in Seoul. The unique thing is, all the prize winners are non-Korean YouTubers. This award ceremony is part of a video contest that took place under the theme of My Favorite K-Food. Ranging from traditional food to processed foods, the participants cook or taste their favorite Korean food in the videos. These videos definitely speak to their love and affection for Korean food. I love to watch a Korean drama and I always see them eat a Korean food and it, it looks yummy. The prize winners are given the chance to travel different cities in Korea over five days. Talking about Korean food, we can't forget about kimchi, a staple fermented vegetable side dish. This is a Korean culture experience center in Hanok village in Jeonju. Here, visitors can learn how to make kimchi and taste their own kimchi. Types and tastes of kimchi differ from region to region. In Jeonju, the locals use onions, daikon radishes, garlic, and fermented yellow croakers for the kimchi marinade. They seem genuinely excited about this new experience. Through the process, they also feel the warm sentiments of Koreans. Above all, they had the most fun learning about Korean traditional alcohol, ranging from takchu, raw rice liquor, and yakchu, medicinal liquor, to hard liquor. They also learned how to make traditional alcohol themselves. The first step to making makarli is cooking hard-boiled rice. That's the main ingredient of the beverage as well. Then the rice should be mixed with water and nuruk, a Korean fermentation starter. After three days to a week, the ingredients slowly ferment before finally turning into a milky off-white beverage. I'm currently making makgeolli. I've just added yeast. This is how it's made. It's so fun. Makgeolli is highly versatile. With a few gentle bubbles, it can be used as a base spirit for countless fruit cocktails, making it popular among youngsters and foreigners. I like it. It's different than what I expect it to be. Like back home, we use more like grapes, podo, and um, the taste is more, has a strong liquor taste to it. So it's just different, but I enjoyed it. Now, the YouTubers are on a strawberry farm to harvest winter strawberries. Strawberries are a spring fruit in Korea, but winter strawberries are more popular for their firm texture and refreshing sweetness. These guys are finally harvesting strawberries. Of course, they never miss their chance of sharing this unique experience with their viewers. The strawberries have been growing using eco-friendly means and are absolutely delicious. They can be enjoyed the way they are, but these guys are making strawberry cupcakes in time for Christmas. Time flew by and the five-day trip is about to come to an end. 
they must feel closer to Korea after experiencing the quintessence of Korean culture and cuisine. Uh, this trip uh, can touch with a lot of uh, like agriculture, then the local culture. So it's something different that maybe a tourist that uh, is uh, quite difficult to experience it. So it's very interesting and amazing. Five days in Korea in winter must have left a very special impression on the prize winners. Now, it's time for them to share those moments again with their viewers in their own unique ways.